Mercedes may face an intra-team conflict in 2023, with Lewis Hamilton reportedly planning to hit back at George Russell. This will surely create a lot of fireworks within the team. Are we ready for another season of Lewis fighting his teammate and creating havoc within the team? Seems like we're up for a Hamilton-Rosberg round two, but this time starring two Brits. Will they end up as strangers at the end of next season? Let's dive in. This year did not provide either of the Silver Arrows racers with the opportunities they desired. They were unable to compete for race wins for the most part, except for an outstanding 1-2 finish in Brazil. Russell won the race, ending Hamilton's streak of winning at least one race in every season of his Formula 1 career. In the overall standings, it was a similar story, with a Mercedes newcomer upsetting the power balance. Russell ended 35 points clear of Hamilton in fourth place, with a seven-time world champion two places behind. According to Sky Germany commentator Sasha Ruse, Hamilton will go to great lengths to ensure that this does not happen again in 2023. I think Hamilton will hit back this year, but I'm not sure if he will also be the clear number one, he said. I'm pretty sure they will start on equal footing next season and that Mercedes will decide after a few races who they will build on. When Valtteri Bottas joined, Hamilton was the obvious number one. But Russell is not Bottas. Russell is more likely to claim the same status as Nico Rosberg. The latter was the last teammate to beat Hamilton, snatching the 2016 title before retiring from racing while on top. Roos's responses were in reaction to a somewhat bold hypothesis that, if Russell beats Hamilton within the team, after the season, the record champion will retire. Hamilton would have to backtrack on his previous comments regarding his future for that to happen. His current deal ends at the end of next season, but he has stated that he wants to sign an extension, and team president Toto Wolff underlined in recent weeks that talks will take place this winter. The Austrian said, There's no firm deadline. Absolutely, Lewis is part of the team, and the team is part of Lewis. There is no reason to for that to not continue. I think one of his strengths is that he's always hungry, always eager. He's a great sportsman, but he's also someone who is extremely driven and determined. It certainly looks like Hamilton will drive on in the next couple of years, but he'll have to take on Russell, who is more motivated than ever to fight for the championship next year. George Russell's triumph in Brazil was not only a moment of pure joy for many Mercedes fans around the world, but it was also a moment of relief. The teenage Briton defeated teammate Lewis Hamilton to win his first Formula 1 Grand Prix. Russell, on the other hand, is more determined than ever to capitalize on his first F1 victory and beat Lewis to the championship next year. For many drivers, moving from Williams to a top team like Mercedes may be a challenging transfer. Consider the case of Alex Albon and Pierre Gasly, who switched from Alpha Tauri to Red Bull. Due to their poor performance, Red Bull were compelled to hunt for replacements, and the Austrian team eventually recruited Sergio Perez. But George has a bright spot for the Silver Arrows, having defeated one of F1's all-time greats in his debut season. Furthermore, as Lewis Hamilton chases his record eighth title, he may be forced to compete for the championship against his own teammate, as well as rival team drivers. With the proper machinery, the Kings Lentine claimed that he could beat any driver on the circuit. Lewis will not be challenging his own teammate for the title for the first time. The Brit has previously competed for the championship with McLaren's Fernando Alonso and Mercedes' Nico Rosberg. The 103 race winner has gladly given up his season to help his team grow. However, if Mercedes succeed next year, it may be bittersweet for the seven-time winner. A determined George Russell told the media, I always believed in myself. The former Williams driver continued, I learned how I need to go about it when he is extraordinarily fast. He further added, I still need to continue to focus on myself because I still maintain the belief that if I've got the car beneath me and the setup and the tires in the right place, working how I want it to work, I can beat him and I can beat anyone else on this grid. And that's the belief you have to take. Regardless of rivalry or competition, the Mercedes duo will be hoping to drive a competitive car next season. Another question is whether the Brackley-based engineers meet the needs of their drivers. So, even though Mercedes struggled all year with the rebellious W13, they took a big step forward with the comprehensive update package the team introduced in Austin. Russell hopes to continue the upward trend and compete for the world title in 2023. I feel absolutely ready to win a world championship, he said in a conversation with Sky Sports. The Mercedes driver is happy to have beaten his teammate in his first year, 
but makes a side note. I guess if you told me that at the start of the year, I would have been extraordinarily happy, because if you beat Lewis Hamilton in a Mercedes, most of the time that means you'd be a world champion, he explains. The latter did not materialize, but Russell calls last season a hugely important learning year. I'm definitely going to have a really strong winter. I'm going to work really hard with my team. Every single person at Mercedes factory is going to be pushing like hell to deliver a car to give us a chance to go fight next season," Russell said. Is Russell a better driver than Hamilton? That's the real question. We probably won't have an answer until we're far into next season, but someone on the grid already had their say about it. This season, Mercedes newcomer George Russell has surely wowed many with his superb driving. Alpha Tauri CEO Franz Tost, on the other hand, appears to be more impressed with the 24-year-old than others. He made an unexpected statement that astounded many fans. The Alpha Tauri boss said, I expect a three-way battle between Max, Charles Leclerc and George Russell, who's already stronger than Lewis Hamilton. In his debut season with the Silver Arrows, George finished ahead of Lewis Hamilton. After Jensen Button in 2011 and Nico Rosberg in 2012, he became only the third teammate to defeat Lewis Hamilton in 2016. However, team boss Wolf insists that Russell beating 37-year-old Hamilton this year is irrelevant. They were not racing for a world championship, he added. They haven't raced for victories apart from Brazil. I don't think for any of the team it matters whether they finish second, third, fourth or fifth. Despite the difficult season after years of dominance, Wolf claimed their struggles this year were easier for Hamilton and the team as a whole to cope with than last year. For one reason. Last year was much worse, he said. Last year it was taken away from us. This year we lost it on merit. We just weren't good enough. Wolf admitted his team got it wrong this year but they've taken the positives from a less than ideal situation as they remain more fired up than ever headed into next season. It looks like it's going to be heated over at the Mercedes camp next year. But this year, looking at the statistics, they were almost evenly matched. Russell finished 10 Grand Prix ahead of Hamilton, while the latter beat his teammate nine times, not counting dropouts. So once again, the two are just ahead of one another. In short, Hamilton and Lewis are evenly matched in a car that has improved during the season. The car seemed to fit Hamilton more and more, even though he struggled more than his colleague to acclimate to porpoising at the start of the season. After all, if it hadn't rained during Q3 during the Brazilian GP weekend, Russell almost definitely would not have won the Grand Prix. He stupidly parked his Mercedes in the gravel during the crucial qualifying session, resulting in a red flag. Salvaging his car meant wasting precious dry minutes. Water began to fall from the sky as soon as it became feasible to drive again. Without the rain, the necessary competitors would almost definitely have passed Russell in the remaining time. Will Russell beat Lewis Hamilton again next year? And hopefully, they'll be able to fight in a competitive car, resulting in at least three race wins as Tost expects. What are your expectations for next year? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we see that a lot of you join us occasionally but forget to subscribe to our channel, so take some time to do so now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.